Jim, is this one of those games that you kind of unsure what you're going to get with it after Saturday with the building well, you, the way it was? Yeah, yeah, I think you hope your maturity level is as such and that, uh, you know, you're going to take the game. I thought preparation was good. I thought the guys, you know, from Sunday to today, we had two good practices and, you know, had a really good mindset. I, I think Jerome set a great tone for us today. You know, what was great about it was that, to me, I'm always judging the process of, of how we try to get better. And, and today, in a good way, our guys were calling each other out. The guys that didn't look mentally into the game, they were able to get on each other and get them back going. And I think that helps. And I think that's how teams grow. And, um, you know, that's how, teams, that's how teams go for things that we're trying to get. Just one other quick follow-up yeah. on that. There's a couple of different ways you could have gone for practice the day after. I mean, is that one of those you got to tell them to forget about it or just yeah. enjoy it and let's move on? No, it's without question, you tell them to forget about it. No, Don't ever forget about it totally. Put it in the back of your mind and have an understanding of – that's what I told the team afterwards is we have, we have, a, we have a, an understanding now of how good we can be. And now it's a matter of on every single night, is that how good we want to be? You know, at what level do we uh, maintain that? And that's, that's the – you know, I just look, there's 300 and something basketball teams, they're all trying to figure it out. Because at this point in time, 11 games into the year – Everybody has played really well at certain times, and everybody's <laughs> played poorly at certain times. I don't care who the team is. And then the guys, the leadership of the team has to determine where do you want it to go. Uh, Jimmy, it's a 15-point win, but did you want to give uh, the starters a little more rest? Uh, yeah, I would like to have, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I thought they were a little mentally tired. I thought towards, towards the end of the second half, I thought some guys got mentally, not physically tired, but mentally tired. But we did get guys in the game tonight. Um, you know, we played about nine guys. Everybody got in. I thought Vin Baker gave us good minutes and stretches. So he's getting – I mean, that's what happens. You know, you can't uh, – you know, it's hard to get guys long, long stretches because there's so much teaching that has to go on for these younger players. If the ball's going down, back, down, back, there's probably three or four things when they come out that they, okay, we're trying to get you better so you can help us in, in games when we get to league play. And, and that's what it's about. It's more teachable stuff than, than rest. Coach, concerned about only four points off the bench? Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, it's not good, but you know, we didn't get many points off the bench of the night. I mean, that's, that's who we are right now. <coughs> I mean, when we lost Deontay, we took guys off the bench now and put them in the starting lineup. So yeah, it's concerning, but, you know, our guys have to play. I mean, our main guys have to score, and we have to play well. Uh, Coach, Luka Kraljevic, nine uh, minutes off the bench. Can you talk about what you saw from him? What I thought you he was were, great tonight. Yeah, what do you, you know, what I you thought, see from I thought him? he brought – you know, I knew yesterday in practice, I was, I, I was disappointed. I should, have, I should have played him in the Duke game. Um, you know, I just, I just – J.C. and Nico were in a pretty good rhythm, and, and, and so I didn't do it. Um, but he deserved it, and he, and, he, and he didn't complain. He went in today. He had two good practices. He played with great energy today. I thought he played very smart today. Um, he's going to really help us. He's getting better and better. He really is. I'm proud of him. Coach, uh, first half your team had zero offensive rebounds. Yeah, Second exactly. Half, you had 11. Was that a point of emphasis? It might have been addressed at halftime. I don't know. But it was something, I think, that was really addressed at halftime. That's not who we are. You know, we're one of the leading offensive rebounding teams in the country. We were probably in the top 35, at least coming into today we were. So it was disappointing. We only missed 12 shots. But we didn't have any. We weren't even, we weren't even doing the early work that's necessary to get them because we're not the type of team that's going to get them above the rim. So we have to do early work. In, in terms of us blocking them out, get inside of them, and we weren't doing that. We were kind of <coughs> so we talked a lot about at halftime about who we wanted to be at the second half. That was much better. Now we missed more shots, but we really went hard to the glass. Quick question for either one of you: uh, Did you take quick deep breath when you see Kai go to the bench, not one, not knowing what was going on with his arm? I think every time one of these guys looks like they're getting hurt, I take a deep breath. I mean, just because I care about them. I mean, uh, you know, you want them to. All be healthy. So yeah, of course, every one of them. Yeah, I knew it was. Uh, I knew he was gonna be all right. He's been like nagging a little bit of something. So um, I knew. I knew it was just a matter of time before he came back in. Jerome, nine of nine from the line tonight. How important is it to get to the line, especially because you guys have been shooting so many threes, and to break that up and really get contact and finish? The line? Yeah, uh, it was a little. I just put in my mind to go to the basket uh, a lot today because I knew we just shot it so well against Duke and. I mean, I mean, shooting that well each game would be awesome, but just getting some easy points, getting in the rhythm, um, and the free throw line is where you do it. And then, Jim, talking about Jordan Chapman, second straight game, 20-plus points. Also, just not only his three-point shooting, but his yeah. ability to adjust midair um, when driving to the basket. Yeah, he's, he's, you know, his game's developing. I mean, he's becoming a, a better all-around player. He's a more confident passer. He's, he's been a, a much, much improved defender this season. He's, he's doing a lot of good things. 
He's, and obviously we know he's, we knew he's going to become the three point shooter that he's been the last two nights. Um, he's just going to keep getting better and better. Yeah, Jerome, you've hit uh, 20 plus points in your last three games. Do you feel like now that you're in your junior year, the game started to slow down for you a little bit more? You're starting to see things you weren't seeing before. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I mean, just a lot of film, and then I've been playing a lot since freshman year. I mean, I've seen a lot of stuff so far, and just all, I mean, it's all preparation really to make the game slow down for myself. Any more questions? Coach, um, what would you say the biggest thing moving forward for a player like Avery Wilson in his development is going to be down, down I, the line? I think he's doing everything. He, you know, Avery Wilson, of all of our freshmen, probably watches more film than any of them. And I respect him for it. So he's trying to learn. I thought tonight, and I talked to him when he went in, he tried to do some things <coughs> right away instead of letting the game come to him a little bit. And, and he didn't play to his strengths. He's, really, he's a good open shooter. He had a couple open shots and shoot it. So he's got to play. He'll get better and better. I mean, these guys, you know, as long as they practice hard, as long as they come in and watch and keep continuing to learn, it's not an easy process. And he's playing behind two really good players. Um, so he's learning.